You know, folks, I, I'm not really sure if you're aware of this or not, but surprisingly enough, in the southeastern United States, there is still a very large uh, population of not only proponents and supporters of the Ku Klux Klan, but actual self-ordained congratulatory members. Now, a couple of days ago, we had that horrible tragedy happen in South Carolina, and it's come to my attention that there actually is a chapter of the KKK, I believe they're called the Loyal White Knights of the Ku Klux Klan, who are operating astonishingly close to the same area where you had the uh, terrible uh, mass shooting in the historically black church. So what do I do today is something a little bit different. I'm just doing this more or less for historical purposes. Obviously, I don't support the KKK. I don't believe in white nationalism or any of that stuff. But I think it's important that, you know, as a culture, we're aware of things that are out there. So what I did was I actually did some internet sleuthing. As it turns out, they actually have a hotline, like a national hotline you can call and get a, a message of some kind. So just for historical purposes here and, you know, in the aftermath of this horrendous shooting, this unga ungodly, ghastly killing, you know, what general message do they have for the masses? So I'm just going to give them a call real quick and just see what they have to say about this issue. My apologies, folks. It is an out-of-state call, so it is taking some time here, I'm afraid. Oh, hopefully this is worth it. Yep, we need to jump to Scott. This is just the worst. You guys are racist. Well, anyway, that's pretty much it. You know, they're out of South Carolina, and they are just indubitably, uh, unabashedly racist in the year uh, 2015. So, yeah, congratulations, uh, United States of America. We've gone very far, and uh, we deserve everything's coming to us. Hooray. Hooray for progress.